Welcome to Explore Tucson. Today we're at Old Pueblo Trolley. They are a nonprofit dedicated to the preservation of Arizona's mass transit history. They have a huge collection of trolleys and buses going back over 100 years. Not only do they showcase these colossal pieces of history, but they also restore them with the hopes of being able to share them with generations to come. Gene Kaywood will tell you about some of the vehicles they've worked so hard on, and it is a little noisy in the shop. So this is a 1925 trolley or streetcar that uh, came from uh, Lisbon, Portugal, and uh, was imported to this country, and it sat around for a bunch of years because the people that were going to make a little trolley line, it didn't work out. And when we got it, it had been sitting and the rats had got in there and it was all, it was all filled with, with uh, rats' nests and it was also all the paint had come off, so it was in really poor condition. So what we had to do, we had to take off all the uh, side steel panels and get down to the bare frame of the thing and then restore everything and put it back together and paint it and on the inside, redo all the seats and, and to redo all the mechanical things. So now it's totally restored. And that's the kind of thing we do here with our buses and our trolleys. This is our oldest bus. It's from 1928, and it was used down in Pisgah, Arizona to replace the streetcars they had down there until that year. Uh, this bus was, had sat out and it was totally decrepit, and all these body panels you see on here were totally rusted out. We had to remove all these rivets you see here, and we had to replace all these body panels, and then we had to totally restore all the mechanical stuff. Fortunately, the two engines were still in it, and it, uh, we had to get it in down running condition. But uh, the interesting thing about it is, I just mentioned two engines, and that was the characteristic of it for 1928. Very unusual, very unusual even today to put two engines in a vehicle, but that's what they did. And each engine had its own transmission and drive shaft, which drove each side of the rear axle independently. So it's our oldest bus, but it's also very historic. It has a very unusual technology, and we're in the middle of totally restoring it, which you'll, you see from all the, the videos. If you're interested in checking them out, they are free to visit, but do accept donations that help support their programs and restore the vehicles. They also accept volunteers. So where should we explore next? Mm -hmm.